Hello, my name is Joe Hinko. This video is how to set a static IP address using the menu on a Hinx Pix Pro. Now, when would you want to use the menu option as opposed to the web page option? The web page is much easier, but you need an address to get to the web page. So you want to use the menu when, let's say, you first get your board and you want to plug it up directly to a computer. Well, your computer will not issue a DHCP address. So you have to give it a static IP to be able to talk to your computer. We set a static IP address on the board by going into a menu after reset or after the board starts. I'm going to click the reset button now or you could switch power off and on, either one. When I'm doing so, the board enters the startup mode, which you see welcome. During that time, you've got 10 seconds to push the left button. The left button brings up the startup menu. The first one says set wired IP. That is a command. The second one is on information. It says MAC address. The third line is your MAC address. Your fourth line is a command if you want to reset to factory defaults, which was covered under another video. We want to set the wired IP. So you take the up button here, you click it once, and now you see set wired IP is highlighted. You hit enter. Enter for me is always the middle key, or the middle button, so I hit enter. Now it says we're on wired IP, currently is set for DHCP. We have an option that says make static, and that's what we want to do. So we want to take the bottom button here, which is down, and we go ahead and hit down twice, and then we hit the enter, or middle button, and now we're up in static mode. The first line accepts static. That's how you basically exit this routine when you're done. The first line starts with the capital letter I, meaning IP address. The, second, the third line starts with a capital M, meaning the mask address. The last line starts with a G, meaning the gateway address, which is typically the address of your router if we were using one. First thing we're going to do is we're going to want to set the static IP. As I said before, my home is on a dot one subnet. Let's make the static IP a dot zero. So, you come down, it's already highlighted. If you hit enter, hit the enter button, and now you're going to go into a mode where you can change. If you notice the first letter is highlighted, we can go up and down and it'll change the number. We go left or right and it'll change what number we're changing. The IP address we want to set is 192.168.0.10. So the first one we want to do is a 1. And I went the wrong way. I'm at a 9, so I'll just go up. There's 1. Now I'm going to move over. I'm going to move down as 9. I'm going to move over. 192. Move over. 1. Move over. I'll go up to 6. Over. I can come down twice to get to 8. Over. I'm already at 0. So I don't want to touch anything up or down. I just want to come over because that's zero. Now there's three numbers, but I want 10. So 10 is zero, one, zero. So we leave the zero, we come over, we do a one, and we now have zero, one, zero. So we have a static IP of 192.168.0.10. If we hit enter, as the first line says, we're done. If we hit enter, we're going to accept what IP address we typed in. So we hit enter. 
And now if you notice, it says our IP address is exactly what we typed in. Now you need a mask. 99.999% of the time, your mask is going to be 255.255.255.0. So we hit enter to change it. And up, oh, I hit IP. So we're going to hit enter again. I made a mistake. See, I didn't bring it down to mask. So I hit the down arrow. Now I'm on mask. When I hit enter, it's automatically going to come up filled with 255, 255, 255. So if I hit enter again, we now have a preset mask. The gateway is typically the first three numbers of your IP with the last one being a 1. So let's come down. We're going to hit enter to enter it. We're going to do 1, 90, 2, 1, 68 dot zero, so we got three zeros, and one which is zero zero one. So we want to go one. It's correct, so now we hit enter. And if you review, you have the correct IP address, you have the correct mask, and you have the correct gateway. Now to save this all together, we hit the up arrow until we get to accept static. We're now positioned over the accept static command. When I hit enter, as I'm doing now, the board will accept our new IP address and it will continue its boot up process, which is doing now. At the conclusion of the welcome, it starts to build its data. It's now attempting to connect to the internet to my website to check to see if there's any new updates to firmware. It can't get to the internet, so there's a little bit of a timeout involved. It's like a close to a minute timeout just to make sure that it can't get to the internet and can't get to my website. After it decides it can no longer connect to the internet, it will come out of that mode as it's done now and it reports that the board is in source E131 mode, there's 48 universes, and if you notice, our IP address is indeed 192.168.0.10. That concludes this video training on how to set a static IP from the menu screen. Have a nice day.